So we have before us two Ryzen laptops, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G15. Now we have the Ryzen 9 5900HS over here, and we have the Ryzen 7 5800H in the Legion. So which one should you pick? Let's jump first and foremost into build quality. Overall, as far as the on-the-go package is concerned, I would definitely lean towards the G15. It's definitely a smaller form factor, as you can see from above, and slightly thinner, but barely thinner from the flat angle. Now, as you can see coming up on the screen, both the thickness and the weight of the laptops, the G15 is definitely a lighter laptop. I feel like this is really reminiscent of more of the old chunky gaming laptops, and this is more of a new sleek design that Asus is coming out with. If I were gonna be taking this thing on the go, to me, it would be rather difficult. It has a 300 watt charger block versus the Asus 200 watt charger block. It's just a heavier altogether package. Now both have great connectivity. The Legion 5 Pro has three USB type A's on the back, a USB type C, a network port, an HDMI, and then of course our power adapter. On the right side, we have a USB type A, a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. And then on the left side, we have a USB type C and a headphone jack. Whereas on the Asus Zephyrus G15, we have a mini SD card slot. We have a USB type A, and then we have a network jack, an HDMI, a USB type A, and two USB type C ports, as well as the headphone jack. So connectivity is similar. Both laptops are not gonna have Thunderbolt because they are Ryzen laptops. Um, so really they can give or take as far as the connectivity. One thing I do like about this mini SD card slot is you can take mini SD cards on the road with you and have expandable storage so you don't get stuck with like large, external hard drives. And so that could be a good option for you if you're a photographer or videographer on the go that needs a little extra storage and you don't wanna carry a bunch of extra gear with you. So that's a cool feature that the Zephyrus G15 has. Let's go ahead and quickly check the assembly. I like how the bottom cover is fit into the side panel of the G15. They've done a very good job with that. It's smooth. There's a few catchy little design elements here. The way the hinge assembles into the bottom cover is a little catchy as well. Uh, but as we get over to the Legion 5, we have the same thing, a very nice assembled laptop. The bottom cover fits into the side panels. There's a bit of a catchy edge here. And then you have these vents, which are very smooth and nice. And then we have a slightly catchy edge right here on the Legion 5 Pro. But, but most importantly, they are both nicely assembled. Uh, good attention to detail from both brands. Now let's go ahead and open these up and get a look at the opening and closing of the lids. Because these are uh, slightly on the heavy side for a laptop compared to like a thin and light laptop, they both open and close smoothly. Let's go ahead and check the screen flex. Good bit of screen flex there, but quite a bit more of screen flex on the G15. All right, let's go ahead and check out the keyboard decks here. I like the keyboard deck on the G15 better. Because I'm not a gamer personally, I don't need the numpad uh, that the Legion 5 Pro has. It's a great feature for gamers, but just personally nothing that you know stands out to me as, a, as an essential, but for some of you it might. The keyboard on the Legion 5 Pro is smooth and quiet. Uh, it has less of a soft touch material than over here on the G15, but they're still both great keyboards. I really like how they're assembled. They've got good snappy key press. The trackpad is something that I will say stands out on the G15. So if we put these two trackpads right up with each other, you can see that the G15 trackpad is bigger. This is a big bonus for designers and video editors through and through. I mean, you can't get away from having a nice large trackpad. And so seeing that on the G15 really makes me lean this way as far as usability is concerned. Although the Legion 5 is fantastic and has a large trackpad, this one is just larger. Um, you got full arrow keys here, smaller arrow keys on the G15, full shift keys on both. So overall, there's a lot of functionality, a lot of function keys. You can access your fan modes from both keyboard decks. So they both have the features that you need. And so what we're really getting down to is personal preferences. Let's shift our focus towards the screens. Now, both screens um, are a more of a matte finish. We have a 16-inch screen on the Legion 5 Pro and a 15-inch screen on the G15. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another computer. We have here 
the M16. Okay, this one's gonna show up in the benchmarks, but the reason I didn't bring it into a full review is because I didn't wanna compare a six gig VRAM GPU to an eight gig VRAM GPU, okay? So the Legion 5 Pro and the G15 both have eight gig VRAM GPUs. This is a 3070 in the Legion 5 Pro. This is a 3080 in the Zephyrus G15. This is a 3060. So you'll see this in the benchmarks. I'll make sure that this one shows up, but I didn't do the head-to-head -head review because I didn't wanna have that big of a difference for the GPU. I know you guys like to have as close to GPUs as possible. But what I do wanna show you is the screen size here. Okay, so if you want a bigger screen, I would recommend checking out the M16. It's gonna have the exact same size screen as the Legion 5 Pro. It's gonna have good brightness, good color gamut range. And I'm actually gonna bring the color gamut range up on the screen for the all laptops. All these great laptops are gonna come up on the screen right now. So you can kind of check the differences. But the reason I'm not doing a dedicated head-to-head -head review, um, unless you comment below and like, I don't care, do the head-to-head -head review anyway. I wanna see the differences between the Legion 5 Pro and the M16, then I'll do it. And I'll take the haters who get upset at me for not having the exact same GPUs. But do note that the results for performance will show up in the benchmarks coming up here in just a minute. This one has a webcam. The Legion 5 Pro has a webcam. The Zephyrus G15 does not. Concerning speakers, there's a better audio experience than G15 because you have these bass kind of speakers up top here. Both have the main speakers along the bottom of the chassis, um, but the bass on top makes it more of an immersive audio experience. And here's a sample of each one. Now, right before we get into the performance benchmarks, let's check out the battery life. But before we do that, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase through one of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Okay, battery life. We're gonna see slightly better battery life out of the G15. The iGPU mode is really, really powerful. It, it just has a lot of control and it allows us to get slightly better battery life. There's good control from the Legion Vantage Center, um, but not as much. And so the battery life is great on the Legion 5, but not as great as the G15. Punch for punch, let's get into performance. And we're gonna start out first and foremost in Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench single core and multi-core. If you're concerned about real world benchmarks, then hang tight, because we're getting into 3D modeling. In 3D modeling, we see the G15 standing up in 3DS Max, getting beat quite a bit in Autodesk Maya, and then coming back and evening up the playing field in both PTC Creo and SolidWorks. Neck and neck, they both have eight gig VRAM cards. The Legion 5 is the 3070, the G15 is the 3080. So really both will work well for 3D modeling. Let's jump into After Effects. If you wanna have a great After Effects experience, lean towards the Ryzen 9 5900HS with the RTX 3080, as it's gonna have better performance in both the standard benchmark and the render benchmark. Because of your amazing feedback, I now am featuring gaming benchmarks on my channel. I'm really excited to be releasing these now and on future laptops. So just keep an eye out for those. They might not be on every single video, but they're gonna be as much as possible from here on out. Next, let's jump into Premiere Pro and the export times are coming up on the screen right now for both laptops. The G15 has slightly better performance out of Premiere Pro, which I was excited to see because this is slowly leaning to be my favorite laptop if you're not you know, picking up on that right now. I like this laptop a lot. For playback in Premiere Pro, both laptops handled that well. Zero drop frames in 4K, slightly lower drop frames for B-RAW out of the G15 than the Legion 5 Pro. 
Moving on to DaVinci Resolve, export times are up on the screen and both laptops handle DaVinci Resolve very well. No issues with DaVinci Resolve and good export times for the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now, one of my favorite tests for the laptops is to run each of the fan modes to check the thermals, fan noise, and export times. And you can see those results coming up on the screen for each laptop. Now, one of the reasons that the Legion 5 Pro really stands out is the cooling and thermals. At almost any fan mode, it was substantially cooler than the G15. The G15 got really hot at turbo mode. However, if you turn it to silent mode, you can still have good export times and have good thermals and fan noise. But if you wanna run it at any fan mode and still have great thermals, then the Legion 5 Pro is gonna be more of your go-to. Regarding Photoshop, both laptops handle Photoshop with ease, getting good high scores. The G15 had a better score than the Legion 5 Pro, but overall the scores are plenty for the Adobe Design Suite, Affinity Photo, Sketch, Figma, and the like. Punch for punch, as you can see, I was really favoring the G15. I just don't love the gamer aesthetic. It's a heavier package on the Legion 5 Pro. Um, there's a lot of great attributes about the Legion 5 Pro. They just don't personally speak to me as a content creator uh, as much as the G15 and it's thin on the go capabilities and performance. Again, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you guys here in the next video.